just want to take a quick moment here to show you how we can update the desktop apps that were deployed via Office 365. So what we're going to do here is on our Windows 10 machine, we're going to power up uh, a standard desktop app that is deployed through Office 365, that being Excel. So give that a moment to uh, spin up and uh, we select a blank spreadsheet so that we've got uh, something here, close that. And then what we need to do is in the top left corner, we go to the backstage, which we can get to by selecting file. We then go down to account. Now you'll see we've got our account information on the left, but importantly on the right, we'll see that we have a subscription product, the version in this case, uh, Pro Plus, and we also have the option here for Office Updates. Now you'll notice that there are some updates ready for me to install. So what I'm going to do is basically force these to install. I'm going to select that and then go to Update Now. So what's going to happen now is that um, it's going to prompt me, obviously, and it will need me to uh, shut down my Excel. Now all I do is go in and continue. Now it's going to close any apps that are open. So I've got, for example, Skype for Business running in the background here, the client for that. It'll close that. And then what it'll do is it'll start working through the updates, downloading those apps for me in the background directly from the internet to make sure that they are all up to date. So what we'll do is we'll let that process complete and then we'll come back and show you uh, what any differences are once that update process has completed. Okay, so that update process has completed and what we need to do is again, let's just launch a, a desktop app here. So we'll go back into Excel once again and we'll go in and look at the same options that we just selected. So let's select a blank spreadsheet, allow everything to power up and then go back into file and then go into account and you'll notice over here in the updates option um, the updates have been applied there's nothing there for us uh, prompting us but what we could do when we select the update options you'll see that we've got an option here to update now we can disable the updates if we want we can view the updates so let's go in and have a look uh, at the updates we get an idea basically of what's been changed what's been updated so we can go in and, and view that to make sure that the version number uh, listed in the web is the version number that we have here. But for example, if I do want to force it, uh, what I can do is simply go into update now. What that's going to do is go out and check for any updates. If there are no new updates, it'll let us know. If they, there are, we'll download and install them for us. So again, it's that simple to basically go in and force the updates of your desktop software from um, the applications deployed via Office 365.